In this video, I'm going to discuss three things you can do at the start of a weight loss journey that can help you get going in the right direction. Weight loss is all about momentum, and at the start, it's very easy to get overwhelmed if you try to do too much at once. A better thing to do is to start with one small change at a time. Do that change until it becomes a habit, and then start to stack other habits on top of that. This is a list of three things you can do at the beginning. Habit number one is to replace all liquid calories with non-caloric alternatives. What you're trying to do to obtain weight loss is to reduce the total calories you intake over the day. A lot of people consume quite a bit of calories in the form of flavored coffees, sodas, juices, milk. So you want to replace these with alternatives. Ideally it would be water, but when the main focus is weight loss, sugar-free drinks, diet drinks are also okay. You just want to watch the amount of caffeine that you intake, and personally I would avoid aspartame. Some examples of replacements would be a flavored coffee drink with black coffee or black coffee with a sugar-free sweetener. Soda with a diet soda, aspartame free would be ideal with either stevia or a sucralose. Sweet tea with a plain or herbal tea, hot or cold. For juices, they make non or super low calorie. They make a five calorie cranberry juice. And you want to get in the habit of when you go out to eat to always ask for water instead of something like soda or lemonade. Habit number two is to prioritize protein. Aim for 20 to 30 grams of lean protein with all your meals. Good options are lean meats, red or white meats, fishes, or Greek yogurt. If you're planning a dessert or a night of indulging with drinks, make sure that you consume a protein-rich meal before you go. This will help prevent overeating and keep you more satiated. And then in a pinch, you can use protein shakes when there's no alternatives available. Some examples of meals would be a grilled chicken salad, non-fat Greek yogurt with berries and granola, lean steak with potatoes and a green salad, blackened fish sandwich with sautéed veggies, and a protein shake with a banana and frozen berries. And then habit number three is to start to incorporate daily movement. Walking is the simplest way to start. Having a step counter is helpful. Try to pick a number of steps that you can do daily that's challenging, but something you can accomplish in your schedule. 5,000 is a good number for most people to start with. You can do higher or lower depending on your current fitness level, but try to work up to 7,500 to 10,000 steps in a day. Other options could include a dance class, a martial arts, hiking, any sort of sport you enjoy. The biggest factor is that you do this consistently day in and day out. When it comes to weight loss, try to think long term. The biggest reason most people fail on their goals of weight loss is that they give up after a certain amount of time. So you want to have a plan that's sustainable, something that you can do for six months or a year and slowly chip away at the weight over time. And even if these steps feel small or any steps that you take, if you zoom out and look at something over a long period of time, small habits can have a big change on where you're at six months or a year from now. So pick one of these habits and start to incorporate it or start to build your own plan that you can follow.